and I'm Daryl Amundsen from the Amundsen Family Music here in, I guess, eastern Oklahoma, and it's a beautiful morning, and I'm going to warn you right away, we're doing things a little different than what we've been doing. Generally, I've been streaming live on Facebook and then putting it over to YouTube later. Well, I was up in the night and seemed to figure that I should try streaming on YouTube and then put it over to Facebook as a recording. So we're going to try this and we'll just see how it goes. Um, you never know. We'll see how it is. I am in a bit of a rush this morning and I, ha I hate being in a rush, but we got things to do today. So I hope that this song and Bible reading can still be a blessing to you. I am a believer that no matter how busy you are, that we cannot afford to miss a time with the Lord because He's the one that sets our day right. He's the one that can change factors throughout the day. We might think we're behind, but God is in control of every little detail. That's how we can trust Him. That's how we fear the Lord, is knowing that, God, you're in charge of every little detail. You can make things go right today, or you can allow things to go wrong for our learning and our blessing. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Eyes not seen, ears not heard, what's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Isn't He wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Eyes not seen, ears not heard, what's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? We need to have that attitude day by day that God loves us so much that he desires the very best for us and his work and his purpose is to that end. And so it doesn't matter what our day seems to hold because he loves us so much, it is directed for our good. Amen? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Eyes not seen, ears not heard, what's recorded in God's Word? Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? And I tell you what, it does the heart good to say that out loud. Have you said that out loud lately or ever? Isn't Jesus wonderful? Aren't you wonderful? It's as simple as that. We are reading from Luke 4 today. Um, if I look a little distracted, it's because I've never gone Facebook Live on this YouTube channel before, unfamiliar with some of the settings and so we will see later how this is all turning out. We'd like to grow this YouTube channel with uh, specifically this song and Bible reading. So hopefully this will do of some good. Heavenly Father, we put all these things into your hands. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your love upon us. And Lord, you loved us so much that you sent your only begotten Son who is the Word living in the flesh. But you've also left it for us to read. Lord, I pray that you would come alongside us, you the author of this book, and that you would help us with the understanding of it and just let it be nourishment to our hearts and our souls. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. 
And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone, that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all will be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus, answering, said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath appointed me, anointed me, to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bare him witness and wondered at this gracious word which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have done in Capernaum, heard done in Capernaum, do also here in this country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Eliseus, the prophet, and none of them were cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. 31. And he came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath day. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, 
he came out of him and hurt him not. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this! For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now, when the sun was settling, setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on them, every one of them, and healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place. And the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. And <clears throat> all the wonderful works of Jesus, loving, kind, tender, truthful. Yes, resisting temptation, even as we ought to. Well, thank you so much for joining me. So like I said, instead of streaming on Facebook, I'm streaming on YouTube, and so thank you for joining me with that. We're going to see how that works. I was up in the night, and I just felt that I should try doing it this way. It's the opposite of how I was thinking for quite a while, but we're going to give this a try. So thank you for all your support here on YouTube, and, and if it gets over on Facebook at some point, thank you there too. And I want to just ask that you would um, go visit us on our website, amundsenfamilymusic.com. You can see all sorts of things on there. You can get CDs, um, merch, stuff that Gabe's make, made out of wood. You can also go to our VIP page and follow us on there because we really support um, our, our VIP page and, and thankful for those that are on it. So look forward to that. So I've got to run. We are taking a couple of cows over to Stillwater, Oklahoma to get uh, some flushing done. And I won't explain too much about that because I don't know. But I'm going to be there and we're going to see how it works out. And we've got a busy day ahead of us. So we thank the Lord for safe travels. And I want to thank the Lord for you and for joining me on here and pray that you have a wonderful day, and that Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. Take care.